welcome to the support videos for workload automation. This video will demonstrate how to connect to an HTTPS URL using Ctrl M for web services. So here's my Ctrl M. I've been asked to add a web service connection profile to the following URL. It is a REST web service, although what I demonstrate today is also valid for SOAP web services. I need to give it a name and I've entered the URL and I test the connection and it failed. It failed because this is an HTTPS URL so it is going to use SSL to connect and the error I'm getting is an unable to find valid certification path to a requested target which means the Java JRE that runs the Control M for Web Services module is not able to validate the certificate that this website is using. So we'll need to get the certificates imported in the, into the Java Key Store. So what I'll do first is go to the browser. I'm using Chrome. You can do the same with IE. Go to the same URL. Click the lock icon here. Go to the details and there's a view certificate button here. The same view certificate button will also show in IE if you click the lock icon. Here we see the certificate details of the certificate that this site is using. If we go to certification path, we see the CA certificates, the intermediate and root CA certificates that signed the certificate for this website. And these two intermediate and root certificates are the ones we need. So I'll select the intermediate certificate now, click view certificate, go to the details tab and click copy to file. Click next, then I'll need to select the base64 encoded certificate file. I'm going to be saving it to my desktop. Give it a file name and click save, then click next and finish. The export was successful. Okay, and I'll want to do the same thing for the root certificate. So again, details, copy the file, next, base64, and go to the desktop, give it a file name, and finish. So now I've exported those two certificates to a file. I can view them on, on my desktop. These are the two files. I can actually double click them and it will show me the certificate information again. I can also see that they're in the X509 format. If I open it in a text editor, it looks like sort of a text file. It's got begin and end certificate lines with a base64 encoded blob in between. That's, that's what it should look like. Now I go to the command prompt. This is the default Java runtime environment location that the web services CM uses. And I'm going to import those certificates into the key store. So this is the command I'm using. It's the key tool command from the bin directory of the Java runtime environment. Import trust CA certs. That's what the certificates need to go into. This is the key store file. You need to give it an, a, an alias. This just needs to be a unique alias name and this is the file name of the certificate file that we just saved. The default password for the Java key store is change it and now all the details of the certificate are displayed again so I can review them and the question is asked do you want to trust this certificate and I type yes. It says certificate was added to key store. So now I'll do the same thing for the root certificate, password change it, trust your certificate, yes, okay. So now both certificates were added to the key store. Uh, now the only annoying behavior that Java sometimes have has is that it caches the certificate information. So to make sure I can test it properly, I'll stop the web services CM by running the stop WSCM command. So now I should be able to go back to the configuration manager and click test. 
validation succeeded. Thanks for watching this video. Check our YouTube channel for many more.